Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through the installation process for T-Rex Miner. And just keep in mind that T-Rex Miner only works for NVIDIA cards. It does not work for AMD cards. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and you want to search for T-Rex and then Bitcoin Talk. Now you want to go to the link that is from BitcoinTalk.org and this is the official Bitcoin, or not Bitcoin, this is the official T-Rex miner thread on BitcoinTalk.org. This is the only place you want to go to get the miner, otherwise you risk installing viruses and uh, potentially even losing your crypto. So the latest version as of now is um, 0.24.8. So once you're here, you want to go scroll down and go to the downloads and you want to open up their GitHub link. So I'm going to open that. And then here's where you can get it. And the reason why I say go to Bitcoin talk is because if you Google just T-Rex miner, there's a lot of fake GitHub pages. So you just want to make always make sure you get it from here just to be safe. And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. All right, so now that you have it downloaded, the next thing you have to worry about is Windows itself. So Windows Defender falsely flags mining software as viruses. So if you try to open it or extract it, right now um, windows defender will most likely delete it so what you can do is uh, add an exclusion folder that way whatever you open in that folder windows defender just ignores uh, so if you go down to your windows search bar and you type in settings then you go to update and security and you go to windows security then you go to virus and threat protection and then manage settings under virus and threat protection and then you want to scroll down to exclusions you want to add or remove an exclusion and here's where you can add a folder so for me i created a mining folder in my documents folder and so once you created the folder where you want to run your miners if you go to add an exclusion then you hit folder and then you can browse to that folder so mine is mining you just hit Whatever your folder is, you, you click on it and you hit select and then it'll show up right here. As you can see, this one's mine. So once you've done that, um, you can exit out of this, exit out of that. And you want to go wherever you downloaded the miner to. So mine's just in my downloads folder and I'm going to basically copy and paste it. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to go to that folder that I just added as an exclusion, which is this one. And I'm going to paste it in here and the last thing you got to do is just extract it so I'm going to extract it to its own folder and I'm just gonna rename it real quick just to follow the format of my previous installation and that's all you got to do as for uh, downloading the miner itself all right so for the final part of this well, not actually the final, there's two more parts. So this one is just gonna be running the application and then I'm gonna show you some tweaks that you can do. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the folder and these are all the templates for the um, pools and the token that you're mining uh, or coin that you're mining. I'm gonna be doing Ethermine and ETH and so what you can do is go to ethermine.org slash start and this is where you can get the servers and the ports that you need so if you um, open up right click on the batch file that you want to edit I'm gonna edit this one and so here you need the server and the port where uh, you're gonna mine to so and this one's for ether mine all the other ones are different but if you open up the template it, it basically shows you you just have to go to whatever 
pool's website and get the info so like this one so I'm in the US so I'm gonna use US 2 so I'm gonna replace EU with US 2 and then the port I'm gonna leave it at 40 or 4444 four, four, four. now if 4444 four, four doesn't work and you're getting uh, like connection issues you want to try um, the alternate port which is 14444 four, four, four. and then you the next thing you do is just uh, this is a uh, an ETH wallet address you want to put your own ETH wallet address there and then you can name your rig whatever you want and uh, that is the basic template you can save this and run it and you're fine now Uh, let me just run it and show you that it's working. Oops, I don't need to do that. And there you have it, that's the fast and easy way to get T-Rex set up and mining. In this case, we are mining Ethereum and using the Ethermine pool to do so. Um, now let's move on to applying the tweaks to T-Rex Miner for better results. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you name your rig inside the batch file, just make sure you don't include any spaces, otherwise you're going to run into some issues. Now let's get into using the command line arguments. If you go to the T-Rex Miners GitHub and you click on code, it'll, you'll see a list of all the command line arguments that are able to be used with T-Rex. And I'm going to set my overclocks in T-Rex Miner itself instead of using Afterburner. So I'm going to use this command, which is CC lock. And that is the offset of your core. And I'm gonna use negative 502. They also have an absolute core clock lock. And that is lock-cc lock. And uh, I'm also gonna change my memory. So I'm gonna change my memory to 1450. You can change your fan speed. I'm gonna set it at 90%. You can also change your power limit and I'm going to change my power limit to 70%. And since this is a light hash rate card, I'm going to change the auto tune step size. By default, it is 0.5 and I'm going to change it to 0.1. I'm also going to change the auto tune interval and by default, that's 20 and I'm going to change it to five. And that's basically all you got to do. You can set the commands as you uh, feel free. And um, then you just run it. Now, if you use some commands, you might run into this issue where it tells you it can't uh, like set the fan speed, can't set the memory clock, core clock, power limit. And that's normal. It's because you have to run that miner as administrator. But then when you run it as administrator, you're going to run into this error. And this error basically tells you that Windows can't find T-Rex, uh, the program T-Rex, and that's because it's searching in System32 instead of your mining folder. So what you can do is if you click on your address bar and then you copy the address or the directory, then you add it before the T-Rex.exe and you include a backspace and then now the miner will search the absolute directory instead of uh, System32. And there you have it. That's how to set up T-Rex Miner on Windows 10, fast and easy. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully it helped you out. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.